And okay, yes. Do, do you have anything you wanted to talk about first, Kusha, before we get to talking about what uh, um, Yarka put on the agenda? Uh, no. Uh, the only thing that Yarka mentioned me was that uh, why uh, the close epics from using UI got delayed because uh, it was waiting for the reviews from the back end as well as right. like all the points uh, she already mentioned. Okay. And uh, it should get merged uh, today itself because uh, most of the reviews are done. Uh, right. All the all the comments from uh, Alexandre, uh, uh, sorry, Douglas, uh, have been addressed already. Uh, but since Douglas uh, is in the different time zone, so once he wakes right. up, he'll approve the MR, and then we should be good to go. Great. And then, so all those were um, back in uh, ish comments on the MR. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Just, just curious, who do you usually assign to front end for review? Uh, so the front end uh, review is already done for this one. Uh, so like front end has been reviewed and approved by Phil uh, okay. last week itself. Just that it it involved some migrations because we were introducing a status. Uh, right, right, right. right. Uh, it, it required uh, DB reviews. Yeah, yeah. I was just curious. Like, is there is it just random pool for front end, or is there um, do you have like dedicated? Do you always go to the same person? Okay. Or? okay. So, uh, so uh, personally, what I do is that I uh, assign someone who is closer to my time zone. So okay, yeah, that makes sense. That, uh, it, it it becomes easier for me to address the comments as quickly as possible. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. No. I was just just curious how how that goes usually. Um, no, that's great. And then she said there's this follow up issue, uh, which I just saw was created six hours ago. We added comments, but there's no autocomplete. So users. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so this is something that we realized uh, while uh, the UX was being reviewed with uh, from Animal. So, mm -hmm. what was happening is that uh, in Epix, uh, if you if you put slash uh, in the comment field, yeah. you wouldn't see any command loading into the context menu. It would just show right. you the loading spinner. Spin and we didn't have any commands there to begin with. So it okay. was some that was implemented from the backend side. Although that feature is a user uh, facing feature where a user would be seeing those commands, the entire wiring of that command, like uh, what are the commands available for a given context and uh, how to pull it up, is all done via backend. So the front end. Oh, okay, front, it's interesting. The only thing that front end does is that it ensures that if there is a URL to hit to pull in the command, it would just hit the URL. Okay. But in our case, in Epix, uh, URL wasn't available because we didn't uh, get to implement it, and uh, which is why the auto completion is not available. Although the commands like slash close and slash open do work, right. just that user won't be seeing those commands as a context menu if user types in the slash. Right. Yeah. So yeah. You mean you have to type it manually and hit enter, and yes. it will work. Yes. Yeah. Without yeah. The so that is that is something that Yarka said that we can implement as a different MR and then get it merged before seven. That'll be great. Uh, Twenty seconds. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. No, that, I, I agree. That would be that would be great to get that in. And then that'll. Um, so I know we have like a bunch of issues. I don't know where we put them, but stuff for like um, assigning a label to a epic with a quick action and stuff like that. So this will at least it'll be one step closer with this change, yes. right? Yes. Um, so at least at least uh, it will it'll uh, basically lay the foundation to you know list right. all the commands. Then we can add options like. Label, unlabel, assign, and unassign. In case we want to use a thing. Yeah, yeah, and then like like dates and stuff like that. So there's a lot that we can we can do. Yeah. That. Yeah. Okay, and then show epics by statuses, open MR review. Oh, that's the list view, right? Is that? Yes, yes. So this is something that again uh, has the related MR already in place. It is currently work in progress. So if you look at the second MR, which is currently in open state. So this one is basically okay. waiting for backend to available. So what we wanted to do was that we wanted to ensure that the original feature, which introduces the status to the epics, gets merged into the master, and then right. we paste this particular MR against the latest master, and then the pipeline would pass, and this feature would be functional right away. Cool. And you, uh, so this is waiting on a backend review, you said? No, no, no. This is waiting for the original uh, uh, MR, which introduces uh, statuses, okay. like closing the epic or opening the epic, because we want that feature to be available before we introduce the tabs to filter out epics, right? Like on the UI, right. we will be showing tabs for open and closed epics along with all epics, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Open MR review after the first one is merged. Um, Right, right. So, so I was asking, um, seven four two four. Is that is that already done pending review, or that's not started yet? 
in terms of uh, so so uh, from the review perspective not yet because uh, we just wanted to get the back end uh, be merged into the master so we wanted to know if I the see. feature at all works or not okay and uh, once the tabs are functional like if user visits uh, the epic page and sees all the tabs and like filtering is everything is working then we can uh, assign it to maintainer all right sounds good and then the last one is supporting short references okay yeah this one yep and then so this one yep. is what did she say or, or you can say so this is basically uh for within the issues uh in the comment fields if you want to add a particular issue to an epic via slash command then right. this is basically that um all right and then so this is under development as well yes yes Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, yeah, yeah. Uh, your uh, Pedro commented yesterday, twenty-one hours ago. Oh, yeah. No, this is this is great. So I'm just looking at the uh, outstanding issues for eleven point four. Uh, I, hopefully, we're using that in dev dev thing. Um, yes. Yes. So like all the MRs, like uh, uh, I I know that two issues were purely front-end changes. Right. Uh, one, one was basically renaming uh, the portion of the pages where we were using planned start date and planned finish date, and we wanted to rename it to start date and uh, due date. So that is something that uh, the MR is already open, and I have currently assigned a docs team to review all the documentation pages. Awesome. Uh, let, uh, let me ping uh, that particular MR in our uh, portfolio management channel. So, okay. So yeah, this one. So this is uh, currently uh, waiting for a docs team review. Uh, Pedro has already uh, gone through this MR once and has spotted a few places where we missed out on replacing the string. So okay. that has already been covered. Uh, once I have uh, the approval from the docs team, I'll assign it to maintainer because the changes are small. Uh, those are mostly string changes, so it, it won't be long. The okay, and then you said, okay, sorry, I was just opening Slack. Um, you said this is has to be reviewed by the documentation team to doc yes yes because uh, we have updated two docs pages as well so oh, basically okay. i am following uh, the process that gitlab bot uh, suggests like if right. you look at the pipeline for this particular mr then there is one uh, <clears throat> job that has failed which is a uh, danger review and it mentions like uh, if you have updated any markdown files on the user documentation then it better goes through uh, the documentation team for review before uh, it is assigned to maintainer for review and merge Okay. Okay. So yeah, so there's a lot of docs changes here, but there is some code changes, right? This is where we're adding the to the Yeah, so it it is basically just a string replacement. Like all the places even in the view application right. site where we are using plan start date and plan finish date. Right. Uh, I'm just replacing it with start date. Oh, oh right, right, right. So yeah, sorry, yeah, I got confused. Um so this yeah. is not the one where we um where we add the dates to the to the hover, right? You you know what I'm talking about? That's a different one, right? Uh, that is an entirely different one. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't want uh, this one to be like held up uh, by Docs team if they're busy with other things, but this is purely Docs, so so that's good. Yeah. Um, yes. Understood. Yeah. And uh, the issue seven three zero seven, which is like add missing Docs link for milestone dates integrated into Epic. So the popover thing is already merged and uh, completed last week itself. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. So it was it was purely front end and it was a small change, so got it merged earlier. Great. The only thing that is purely front end that remains to be merged is this uh, renaming thing. Okay. Great. 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 So I'm looking. What else is open? And is anything else that's uh, that hasn't been started yet? As well? I mean, we we have like essentially two weeks. Before yes. Freeze. So, uh, so that that is what I also wanted to bring up. Like, if we want to squash in any small item uh, within this release, then we have a bandwidth, because uh, as you know, that uh, the closing epics part is already about to merge. Okay. Uh, then, uh, then the tabs thing, where we will be having open and closed tabs on the epics list page, is also waiting for that main merge request to get merged and reviewed. Right. And then there is this quick actions part, which is work in progress. So, if there is any pure front end thing, then I'll keep an eye on that. <clears throat> like there are a few bugs uh, uh, which are purely front end that I'll uh, see if there are any in the backlog right. and I'll cover it within the release. So and if anything else that you want me to cover as a high priority, I can uh, take it up. Back. So so I, I tried. I'll try to keep just going forward. I, I told the team I'll try to keep everything up to date um, for the, like the next couple milestones. So we can always look at ten five, which I switched to. 
or 11,500. Yeah. Uh, and then what I haven't done is do the due 22nd thing, which I may do, or maybe just put it on a board because that one I can work closely with you folks to set the current expectation. Uh, but it also means that, um, so why don't, why don't I do that? Why don't I spend a little bit of time putting like do 20, well, you said um, Yarka might not be done, done, and then you'll probably be freed up earlier, right? Is that what you said? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Because the, the quick actions thing, uh, I'm not sure how much uh, from the back inside that it has. Right. Although if you look at that issue, it has front end label, but as far as front end is concerned, it is minor verification part only. Okay. Because again, cache commands is entirely handled uh, by back end. Right, right, right. So yeah, no, so, I'm, I'm just looking at 11.5 and finding the, looking at which one is um, front end only. Something that we can basically pull into 11.4. Yeah. Right, 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 right. And then um, I'm looking at the, the sort thing is, that is also back in right sort direction for FX. Sort direction for FX. FX. I, I, right. I think we uh, we got it uh, done in one of the releases. I, uh, yeah, okay, we, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I understand. we did the initial sort, not not sort. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, last yeah, this is this is different. Like we wanted to introduce a sort direction as well, so that is different. Yes. Yeah. So is that something that we can do that doesn't require back end? No, it, it does require backend because we would have to pass uh, ascending or descending as a query uh, param okay. in the URL and then that okay. would require backend. Okay, okay, I see, I see what you're saying. So this is not, so we, we have to dig up something uh, else, right? So I'm just looking at the list and everything looks like it's just in this blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, like all the items that I see, only first one that is epic issue list and issue list design, flattened row. So that is something that doesn't require backend, but again, it is something that is like ideal for a release uh, from the start instead of you know pulling it into right so so you are you looking at 11 5 so yes so i am uh, looking at the same filter so i have these labels applied oh, to the yeah, like yeah, yeah. portfolio management and front end and then milestones set to 11.5 right 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 okay yep yep i'm looking at that too no yeah i just filtered on front end um and then epic attribution why did that get pulled to eleven point five? Sorry, the second one I thought was being worked on by Shanta. Or was this another one? Uh, oh, right, right. Okay, uh, that's fine. Okay. Um, did uh, did 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 you talk to um, uh, Andre about the the refactor thing? Uh, so I spoke with him, uh, like how we want to break it down and mm -hmm. he said like, uh, yeah, sure. Like, uh, and basically we, as we discussed in our call as well, like we want to plan it for 11.5. So now that I have all the 11.4 items out of the way, I'll create an epic to refactor the epic and then we'll put in all the issues, uh, the, uh based on how we want to break that entire refactor into multiple, uh, portions. So yeah, I'll, I'll open the epic, uh, I guess, later today or probably tomorrow itself. And then uh, we can discuss it, how we want to go about it. And then I can even start working on that within this release. Like I can at least push out a small MR just for the shell part and uh, get it out of the way. Obviously it would just live in the code base for 11.4. It wouldn't be alive anywhere. Like uh, I would have it behind the flag and anything. So. Right. No, no, that's, that's, exact, that's exactly what I was saying. Like, do you think that's a good... Yeah, yeah. So that is something that uh, we can surely start on level of five. Yeah, I keep muting myself. It's my kid. Um, no, I was saying, do you think, um, like, is that a type of work where you can just keep running or is that like, there's still initial planning, so you have to do a lot of waiting? No, no, no. So, so like, everything is already, I have, uh, it's set, like, how I want to begin with. Okay, so it's on your so, brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is, it is basically not formulated uh, in any issue or epic. So that's what I'll do. Uh, to create concrete issues so that we can understand like, okay, this issue covers this much scope and then we can open MRs and do that. So I'll open th those multiple issues and that umbrella epic to hold all those issues tomorrow. And then I'll uh, start working on that uh, groundwork part where, and open an MR and then we can, uh, we'll see if we can get it merged within 11.4. So at least the code gets into the master plan. Yeah, yeah, that, that's perfect. Let, let, let's do that from like a project management perspective. Let's have you create the epic create the epic and then um 
you said create those issues and then you, yeah, please go ahead and, and start working on it. And then we can sort of retroactively assign whichever issue to 11.4 um, that you think we can get done. And then the rest sure. will, will schedule for later. Um, and then this is Tuesday. So by next, next week, we should probably with hopefully Yarka can make the meeting next week. Um, yeah. but next week we should talk about 11.5, um, scheduling. Um, but, but I, I mean, like I said, I already have everything here, right? So, but it's also like maybe representative of like, there's no front end only thing. So there, there's a lot of dependencies here, but, um, yeah, b before we leave, when you're looking at 11.5, so yeah, switching topics quickly back and forth. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so, so the, the refactor, please go ahead and do it. Let's, I think that's a great use of time, um, for the rest of 11.4. And then for yeah. eleven point five, when you glance at this list, um, is there? Is it? Do you think it's immediately? There's there's too many things here. Um, uh, no, I think I think uh, it is moderate. Like uh, so, all the items, although those are like mixed of both front end and back end, but if you look at the individual items, then those are minor ones. So collectively, I think we can surely cover it. Okay. That is the one? epic issue list and the issue list design flatten row. So right. again, as I can see, like rest of the four items. So I have, uh, let me share my screen. If I okay. Can. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please, please. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think uh, I've just upgraded to Mojave and I don't see any options in the zoom and it is just asking me to upgrade. So uh, <laughs> no problem. So basically uh, I, I'm looking at uh, this issue filter as we discussed, like uh, I have two labels applied, portfolio right. management and front end and my stone set to 11.5 and I see five issues. Uh, the first one is the epic issue and issue list design uh, and the rest are like sort direction for epics and roadmaps show actual dates within tool tips uh, epic sort of complete issues and mr and epic sort of complete milestone so the last four items are like uh, more of a back end heavy rather than front end heavy uh, although they do require some front end effort but those aren't uh, like uh, it isn't much effort individually for all those four items okay so the first one itself is front end heavy because again it is purely front end it isn't back end so I think uh, uh, I'll be I'll be able to cover those five along with the refactor issues that we might plan for eleven. Okay. Yeah. So well, pretty much doable. I also have to be careful. Um, so hold on. Uh, can you look at which ones should have front end? Because I'm I'm looking. If you take off the front end label, and mm -hmm. start by portfolio management, I think the last one promote issue to Epic should have front end label but it doesn't uh, okay okay let me open that okay it says promote issue in a project to epic and group and we don't even have a design yet so that that's that's a problem so i will yeah yeah uh, so okay. I, I okay okay so i understand what uh, what it means is that it basically uh, wants to have uh, basically a license flag in place before we right. release it yeah, so I think only that part. And uh, no, and this one probably needs to be broken down further, anyways. There's a lot. This one's pretty big. So, um, yeah, this might not do 11.5, or if we do it, it will be very like uh, uh, maybe something like oh, only promote title or or something like that, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll I'll ask Pedro to take a look at this one. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, this this I think this we need a we need to break this down a little bit further. But I'm just looking at the other ones. Like you were saying, they're back end heavy, which is good. So, you know, hopefully we can squeeze in more of the refactor in 11.5 as well. Uh, yeah. And then at the same time, I'm, I'm looking at all these issues. They're like, they're not new features, right? Like the only new feature is promote issue to Epic. And even that is like, sort of like, it would be great to have that, but it's not like a new, new feature. All the rest are like sorting and <laughs> notifications and we're still working on that. And like, if you remember, I, I told you folks that, yeah, like let's aim to finish that by the end of the year. And then, and then hopefully, well not hopefully, I, I expect Anibal to have really good designs for us really soon, like in the next couple of weeks. And then we can start talking about that. And then that'll be good. Like, it seems far away, but the, it, it comes fast. Like we're like in September, oh, next year we're gonna start it. No, it comes fast. So, so I, I really, really hope that like by, we're in September, right? So like mid October, you'll be staring at like 
sub ethics and then you'd be like oh how the hell did i implement that that's really weird and it's gonna be like we have to do all this back end work and i'm gonna and i'm gonna be yeah. like no i don't want to do all this refactor again Kusha. and then yeah. but i i want to force us to have those conversations really early as, as you're wrapping up these things so i'm looking forward to that but um anyways yeah that that's really good good um yeah go ahead do the refactor stuff keep uh, everybody up to date on the channel i'll do exactly the same for the promote issue to epic and start sure. making, uh, Pedro for designs and stuff like that. Okay, great. Anything else on your side? Uh, no, that is it. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Kushal. I'll talk to you later. Yep, sure. Bye. All right, bye.